Today is a crazy day. Yeah, let me tell you, Judge Enron, he ain't come to play. The feds did not come to play. Bravo is taking some ladies away. You got the Real Housewives of Potomac having issues. You got the Real House of Atlanta having issues. Mm -hmm. And there might be some issues on love and marriage Huntsville. Y'all, we got it all. So we're going to dive into Nisi. Baby, baby, the news and the gossip have been hotter than fish grease today, okay? People, my super haulers came through. The gyms came through for me, sending me DMs because I really won't feel well either today. Um, but they were coming through in the DMs and, and emails and stuff. Let me know what's going on. So thank you, super haulers and gyms. In case anybody ever wonder what I call my people over on Instagram, they're super haulers. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's talk about Donald Trump. I know everybody's talking about Diddy, but let's hit the Donald Trump. In the 11th hour, do you know that the Supreme Court came through and said that Donald Trump do not have to pay the $454 million? He, oh, 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 he don't. He only has to pay $174 million, but there was a catch, Okay. So the judge said, okay, wink, wink. He literally winked, okay, in the, in the courtroom. Donald Trump would need an independent monitor approval for the 557 million bond he has filed in court. If Trump doesn't file the money, the New York Attorney General Letitia James will start placing liens on his property. They've been begging all weekend, even the sons. They went to some of the richest people in New York and all over the world trying to get that money for Donald Trump. So do you know that Eric Trump said he walked into a room and when they asked for the money, every single last one of them guys laughed in their face. They was like, we don't want nothing. We don't want the property. We don't want nothing. Uh, You're going to have to get this money on your own. And guess what? Trump is, I mean, his toupee is sliding to the left, to the right, okay? So mm -hmm. he has to get this money. On February 16th, Judge Arthur Ingron ordered that Trump had to pay the $454 million with penalties, okay? And interest for fraudulently inflating the value of his assets to obtain bank loans. Trump lawyers wrote in a court filing on Thursday that with 20% premium with the bond company, Trump will be seeking a bond for $577,000. So I'm going to tell you February 16th, if he don't have his money, Letitia James finger is on the trigger. She is ready yeah. to pull, and she has plans to take his most valuable assets and to begin to sell them. She's just not going to seize them. She's going to sell them piece by piece. The buyers are standing in line. Trump don't have no help. Also, Trump had to go to court for Stormy Daniels today, and y'all know, He's going downtown. If he you know he was trying to get his trial date pushed back further, and the judge said, I'd be damned. You are going to trial on April 15th, okay? Guess what? If he was a black man, he would have already been there, tried, and convicted. Let's get that clear. Girl. Um, they oh, say hello to the judge. Tanya, Tanya, how are you? The other judge went off on him this morning. Dina Grant, how are you? Monica McCall, we got Lady T in the house. Queen, I'm sorry for the week, weakest that happened. Um, on who knew? I knew she was a mellow man and, and slow one at that. You know what? I really respect all the bloggers. And 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 to speak on that briefly, you know, when Miss Wanda is on her live. 
whatever a content creator say that is from them. I'm just a mod, but I won't be modding for a while because um, I don't want to get caught up in something that don't have nothing to do with me. I don't want it to be about me. I'm not trying to make it about me. And things that co different content creators say, I may not agree, but it's not my place. It's just that when I know something is getting crazy, it's time for me to say touche because I got my own business, my own Jim's house over here. And whatever I need to say, I don't need to go over to anybody else's comments. But I think all my gems that were supporting me last night to let people know it was not me. I was over here on my own live, minding my own business. And Miss Wanda was over there burning down her house. And that don't have nothing to do with me and the mods. I'm not the only mod on her page. There are four other people to my understanding. So you know what? You let them trigger, click, time out, and, and hide the page. That is no longer my job. I got my own job over here. Miss Gigi, the girl is in the house. She said, good evening, y'all. A full so, day so, of news. Let me, let me, let me before you read that. So mm. some people, uh, what are they saying about you? They was just thinking that I was at Miss Wanda's house yesterday deleting their comments. And Miss Wanda said some very testy things. Um, and they were saying that, you know, I was in part of that. But when Miss Wanda is up there, you know, talking, that's her own comments. And she just called me and said, I'm going live. But when I was on my live yesterday, I seen that she went live. So when I finished my live, I went over there to mod. When I got in there, she was talking about content creators, and I didn't want to be a part of that. So I jetted up on out of there. But people's comments was being deleted, but I wasn't what the only one out there. What people don't understand about YouTube is that if you cuss or say something in the comments that YouTube deem that we're going to hold it, They'll hold those comments, and if, if there's nobody over there to mod to show your comment, it's not going to come up on the feed. Mm -hmm. So sometimes YouTube hold comments. That's why sometimes I try to look at the YouTube page and StreamYard at the same time to see whether or not people's comments are being held until we overlook them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So and people I'm need to realize that people. also. I'm not here to tell people I'm changing. I want people to see the change. And I thank you, Tanya. I thank you for, you know, standing up for me. I really thank you. I thank you, Dina Grant, for standing up for me. I thank all y'all because y'all know I'm trying to do be the best I can be. And I'm not going to beef now unless it has something to do with me. And then you got True T came out with some commentary. And the blogger she was talking about decided to attack me. But guess what? I told her what I felt, how I feel, and I don't have to say anything because you're when you address true T, then you can address me. Until you straighten up that, I have nothing to do with that. But she decided to come after me and Miss Wanda. And a lot of people are affiliating me with Miss Wanda. But honey, my thoughts are not her thoughts. Her opinions are not my opinions. And I respect everybody's opinions. And I'm going to stay in my lane. Y'all um, know we don't be talking about content creators over here unless they say something or, you know, uh, I'm encourage Marcella from now on to research the facts for herself. Mm -hmm. You know, because some people do come to you with information you know, trying to get you get something started. You get what I'm saying? Oh. So, you know, that's the only time content creators are talked about over here. Yeah. Unless we're shouting somebody out and saying, go follow them. Yes. And that's what I do. So I'm not going to keep telling people I'm changing. I am going to show my change. And if anybody says something about me, you don't have to tell me because um, I don't care. <laughs> it's not even that. They were being ugly and on different chats, but the CCs were taken up for her also. Yes, yes. When Miss Wanda, she over there doing her thing on her page, and when her page gets snatched, I'm going to still be over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hate to see um, content creators beefing, praying for YouTube content creators. Listen, everything that's going on right now, 
I only wish that content creators would, you know, act the fool and then tell us about what's going on in our economy and things that's going to affect us. You know, if they don't choose to do that, that's it. I want people to know what's going on around you that's serious. I want you to go and vote. I want you to start stocking up like a squirrel. I want you to start getting your house in order because it's about to go downtown. Mm. And y'all, um, London, I told y'all the other day, London fell out on her field trip and um she they told us that london is very dehydrated and london seems to think that she needs to be on a diet and she wears a size double zero because she's going into junior high school so she's not she's not doing that anymore because her mother was you know very upset that london was stating that she wasn't eating because she needed to be small now what? London, Double zero, and and she's listening to people in her school saying you got to be slim. You know, you're so tall, you can't be fat, you can't have a stomach. And London was like, "Grandma, I can't have a stomach." I said, "Girl, you got a back that looks. <laughs> you don't even have a stomach, so stop it." These kids got to know that you know you don't have to be skinny, skinny. If people would stop bringing the bones, the bones wouldn't be chewed on. You're right. Um, Miss Gigi said. Uh, Miss Gigi said, you know, Marcella, I love you. And I want you to tiptoe through the tulips when it comes to some of these content creators. And you know what? You ain't, you don't never speak nothing but the truth. Okay. Miss Gigi, always. Um, Tanya, uh, oh, I thank you. All I need is my Texas to vote Ted Cruz out. Yes, it's some things getting turned up around here. Okay, just let me. It's my hormones, girl. That's why I get crazy sometimes. But I love you. Dion says whatever. You know what? You are so special to me because people don't know that. You know, I was beefing with one of your family members, but you know what you did? You supported us both, no matter what. And it takes a lot because blood is thicker than water. But you showed us that. You know, I am part of your family too, and I appreciate that, girl. She better go. Lady T said, I don't blame Miss Wanda. She is responding to what people are saying about her and her family. She has that right. She does. But we got when we are voicing our opinion. We have to do it in a respectful way. And Miss Wanda going to have to handle that. Um, we have a black man running and we need him in the Senate. And y'all, Tanya, put his name in the chat so that we can make a community tab about this man. We got to let people know. We do your research and vote. Lady T said, oh, yeah, and your daughter are twins. Very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, peer pressure. So sorry that girls go through this mess. Also, parents have to watch what they do and say in front of their kids. It's not always the peers. Kids are sensitive these days. Well, huh, y'all can see that I got a little belly right here. <laughs> but you know what? I, I don't care because I'm, I'm, I'm healthy and I feel good. But London, my daughter, is so on her now. My daughter says, okay, I'm eating lunch with you at school. And you're going to eat breakfast because she usually eats a yogurt. We found out that London ate yogurt for four days straight with nothing else. What? London, I'm, I'm not. I thought, I thought it was all about being thick now. I didn't know that they were still pressuring um, kids to, you know, not be. But well, you know, London food. goes to a school that's more predominantly white. white. Oh, and okay. So those okay. girls are like London. We throw up, and London said, "Oh, that's nasty. I'm not gonna throw up. I'm gonna just eat less." I did you enjoy my video? I sure do on mental health. Do you be thinking I'm not mm -hmm. looking? Uh, Miss Wanda and Marcella with that infectious laugh. I love it. Yes, everybody say I sound like Miss Wanda, but we are not related. <laughs> she said, what the hell? Okay, so Nisi, get on the story. Come on, we got to pull up about this Diddy because I told you <laughs> they going after Diddy. Now, here's another Jim's prediction. Jay-Z is next, honey. Jay-Z is going deep. I, I think so. Baby, I will lend him money. My my and somebody hit the DMs and said, that Raiden did his house. I didn't know what house is. 
<laughs> they raided the LA house and the Miami house at the same time, y'all. They only usually do that in Rico cases, baby. And get like four minutes in Atlanta. He has an abandoned mansion and they found videos. Now, I don't know what makes these men do inappropriate things with children and mm -hmm. they will tape it. But Allegedly. Girl, show the video of his house because I put it in the community tab. It's in the community tab. Maybe I can show okay, y'all. I have posted it over on my page. I'm bringing it right quick. Okay, come on. Many folks owe Cassie a gratitude of thanks. That's right. Um, Tanya said, Colin Allard, he is currently representing us in the United States Senate, former NFL player. Let me write his name down. Y'all know I'm in my bathroom, right? This is my bathroom in my room. Hold on. Let me get a pen. Whoa. Okay, y'all. Um, so... This was his LA house. Um, they got raided if I can find it. Um, his LA um mansion. Um, you can see how huge it is, and it's crazy. So here it go. This is just the very, very beginning. And the folks that they had taken into custody, they've moved them out of the area right now. And again, I wouldn't say that they are arrested. We don't know that for a fact. They took them into custody. A few of them still had cuffs on. Some of them didn't. So maybe this was a division of, you know, these are people that we know work here. These are people that may be associated uh, with Sean Combs so, or Bad Boy Entertainment. So it, it, it's one of those type of situations. And until they know who they are, they're just going to keep them in custody and possibly just let them go later on. And I don't believe the word arrested has been used out here as of yet but again still very active situation and of course that is a huge house and they've got a lot of rooms to clear before they allow those investigators in yeah we talk about the process of bringing this many law enforcement officials to the scene to have a raid like this and conduct a raid and make entry into a homeby hills mansion that's owned by a prominent celebrity and their business so clearly this is something that doesn't happen just overnight law enforcement officials do have to have their evidence ready they have to make sure every t is crossed in order to make entry into a home like this for process or figure out where we're all right we not, not only that happened y'all two other people that was out there in handcuffs was justin and 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 what's the christian. other boy name yeah yeah they both was in handcuffs justin and christian was on the ground in handcuffs honey and oh it was king too Ooh. i didn't see that one just well, but the other T, y'all, the other T, while this was going on, allegedly, Diddy was in a jet, and the feds made the jet stop in Puerto Rico, but it was on its way to somewhere else. So, Bali. the feds made the plane land. Bali. He was going to Bali, so he cannot be extradited. What'd you say, Dion? He and it wasn't him. the FBI. It was Homeland Security, baby. That's who it was. Now, FBI might be in the bunch, but who's taking the lead on it is Homeland Security. Yes, and guess what? I'm going to tell y'all. I told y'all this months ago. R. Kelly kept saying he was coming home, but he was coming home. R. Kelly has been singing, singing and telling everything. You know why? Because Diddy and, and Jay-Z let him sit in that jail and let him get prosecuted. And he was letting y'all know I'm not the only one. And he's been singing and telling he's coming home. But see, let me tell you what they just did to um, R. Kelly. They have just seized all his commissary. People have been putting a lot of money up on his commissary, and they've been taking that money, paying the victims. And what? Going, yes, they have seized 
R. Kelly's money for his commissary. And they've been taking it, but he has been telling. And I'm going to tell you something. Justin Bieber's whole world is collapsing because he snitched on Diddy. He's having problems in his marriage, problem, problems with mental health. You know, whatever they did to Justin Bieber, this boy is out to lunch. Now, y'all may not know, know that, you know, I think that everything is a ploy going on. And you see people back, back, backing up from Diddy, okay? Facts, Lady T, I think it's so too. I think she gave Cassie something before leaving. Yes. And, and yes. listen, y'all, today, let me say this before I forget. Today is the anniversary of the release of Life After Death by Biggie Smalls. Mm -hmm. Look at this, Nisi. They raided his daughter's house, too. Yeah, because I think they stay out there in the L.A. mansion. And mm -hmm. I think the boys was in Miami. And if he put anything in his daughter's houses, he is, that's messed up. They'll get him off that jet, I believe. They sure will. Yep, Marcella. Yep. Um, two pay sliding, okay? No cup. And listen, I do not think that Diddy will make it in prison because Diddy is so, 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 so clean, y'all. He is obsessed with being clean. And I don't know, no clean prison. Okay. No cup of soup for R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Season his commissary was wrong, in my opinion. No matter what the man has done, dang, he deserves some civil rights. Well, honey, they done took the boy money, and he is suing. He is suing them. And it's a shame that people in, you know, prison got more rights than some people outside. But, y'all, let me tell y'all, I received a special, special gift. Uh, I got this from the Red Lipstick Hustler. Y'all, a matte lip kit, um, a matte lip kit and lip liner. Y'all, let me show y'all. This girl sent it to me in a red bag. She sent me two of them. Let me show y'all how it came packaged. Let me let me show y'all. It has the same color lip um lip liner, and then it has the um right here. This is from Red Lipstick Hustler. Look, this is amazing. Amazing. She sent me this color and she sent me like a coral color. And then she sent me yeah, this is for oils that I put in, in between my braids. I had ran out and she said, Queen, I know you got to be running out of your oils. She sent me the oil. She sent me some edge oils, y'all. Um, she packages up so pretty, y'all. This is her bag that she sent it in. And it thank you, Lily. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's my you think about me. me, me, me. And then she sent me her book, The Purple Cinderella. And y'all, I read it online, but I wanted a hard copy so that I could share with women that have been through something. And when y'all read that book, that book made me, that book had me in tears, okay? Y'all know that Lily had went through a lot in her life as a youth. And God, she don't look like where she come from. Hey, educated female life, I miss you, girl. I yeah, miss, miss Pinky. I think it's been 17 years. Because I, I mean, wait a minute. No, it'd be 27, right? If it came out in 1997. Twenty-seven. My mouth ain't right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twenty-seven um, years. Yeah. That's what what year my daughter was born. So you know, you know, they took Biggie out. You know that. And guess who also helping him so he can get out? And the word on the curb is he getting out. Um, uh, the guy that what's his name? The other producer, the one that beat up um, what's that? The big guy that's in prison. He got. He's online now. He Huh? You're talking about Keefe. No, the big guy that's um he he was married to Michelle. Um y'all, y'all help us dun, out. Dun, dun, dun. What's that girl name? I'll think of it. 
Oh, Miss Gigi said he can be obsessed with clean. He can now clean the. My Stevie Jane. No. Uh, I don't know. Dude. What is the guy? Uh, Suge Knight. Suge Knight. Especially men on those tablets in the library filing briefs. Men prisoners use their time wisely when needed. Yes. Drop lipstick Lily's link. Oh my gosh. And y'all know that <clears throat> this is only $20. Things. It's only $20, y'all, for the lip liner and the lipstick. Okay. Y'all got to go. And her oil, when I say it smells so good, I use that in my hair. It helps keep it thick. Um, Dion says, whatever, in deep recesses of my mind, I was thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, about 27 years, all of Diddy, old artists are smiling, especially one that I hold clear and near to my heart. I made him a big donation last year. It was Freddie. Remember when they Diddy made Freddie walk from the studio all the way across the Brooklyn Bridge for a cheesecake? Yes, that boy said God saved him because he wanted to pull the trigger on Diddy, and he didn't. Suge Knight, Suge. Suge is loving it. Y'all, that is Lipstick Hustler. I'm telling you. I, That's the Walmart link, y'all. We had talked about this me. on a Monday I got my order Thursday morning. On Monday evening, we had talked about this, and I got my order. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, y'all, that's the Walmart order for um, Lipstick Hustler. Y'all, please order from her. Support her queen. We got to support all our queens. All right, Nisi, get to the next story, honey. Baby, you know, I down to, to the okay. real housewives of Potomac. They they cut um Robin and they said Candace got fired before she could um you know before they could fire I mean she quit before they could fire her or somebody said they think that maybe she was demoted to a friend um because there's been so many instances of her being in you know altercations and stuff like that. I also heard through the grapevine, I don't know if this is true or not. But Wendy was also thinking about leaving, and I think it was according to whether or not her whatever she had going on during the season pops off. Mm -hmm. or if it, you know, if it pops like off, she gonna, she's gonna leave also because she feel like it's making her look bad. You know what I'm saying? Messing with right. her image and stuff like that. Um, right. and, but you know, I I kind of got in a little argument on another page because. They were trying to say that Mia had a right to throw the drink in Wendy's face. Um, the Muppet had a right to throw the drink in Candace's face. Y'all ain't finna do that. Y'all ain't finna do that because when my girl Monique did the same thing, they sat down in a whole intervention circle to tell her that she needed to use her words instead of her hands. Now, let me um, tell you what I heard about Miss Robin. Oops, Robin Dixon reportedly got axed. Juan did this. Yes, I can cheat in peace. Mm -hmm. Finally. Now, mm -hmm. Robin, let's get back to it. You the man and I'm the man. He is, he already sees still cheating. He has never stopped. And guess what? This is going to take a big bulk of money from Robin's income. Because she claims that she's opened up all these stores. They're not physical stores. She's selling something that nobody is buying, okay? And for her to think last night that she might have looked like Mariah Carey, what is Ooh, she? girl. I was like, I, I don't think nobody was close other than Ashley Missy, too. Um, Missy, can you show us all their outfits? For the okay, well, yeah, I'm trying to find this link um, for and them. And y'all, what shocked me last night when Mia's husband, Gordon Fisherman, he came up there and said, my wife, she's been very good, but y'all missing the cover, cover story. Y'all missing the cover story. Gordon. Miss Lily, can you drop your regular website? I put a link up there for your Walmart um lipstick 
Um, and then I put your book in there, but I think you got a separate um a separate um website if I wasn't mistaken. They wanted that also. Okay, so listen. Okay, let me pull that out. Monday cancer and Mia was out there cheating. So she was cheating, and I told y'all, honeys, he gave her consent. Why? Because he wasn't working downstairs. He could not get a bat or nothing. The balls was not moving. And during his time going through the prostate, she still needed to get her freak on. So she's been messing with ink, as they call him, for a long time. She even be talking to ink on the phone, and Gordon will say hello. So he told her, you can cheat under two conditions. That you keep it private and you don't let the kids know. But the kids then ran home and told Daddy Gordon Fisherman that Mommy be in the bed with another man. Now, let's not stop here. Do you know that also... She been cheating for years. I told y'all she was out there. Mia Thornton. Mia was I, saying I had that the paternity of the, the child has came. Yes, up. yes, yes, yes. Gordon slapped us with that is not my baby. And if that is the truth, the only child that Gordon has with her is that little girl. But honey, I told y'all. Gordon money belongs to his family in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. And he was spending a little bit too much. And they cut him off and kicked him off the board. And me and Tama, I've been giving you money. Tell them in the world, allegedly, allegedly, all the clubs that you were still working in, bending over for a profit to give your husband. Are you going to have anybody, are they going to have anybody left? Let me tell you something. Mia is going to continue working up there. I predict that Mr. Ink is not going to stick with all this now that it has come out. She better get some money. Um, I'm going to send it to Baby, you. Baby, he, he was in the audience and look, watch what happened live when she was up there last night. Look, don't forget Lily's oils. And when I say it smell good, good, good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I got my lipsticks. Y'all order from the Red Lipstick Hustler, Lily. I said I talked to her on a Monday night, Thursday morning. Boom, bam, ding dong. Red what was the name of that magazine that they did? With me? Uh-uh. The magazine that they were shooting for. Oh, I don't even know. Um, she said she's going to send it to our DMs. Your lipstick and lip liner, Lele, it, it gives me life. I was in my meetings today just trying to be serious, have my lips together. Yes, red lipstick, Hustler Lily. Oh, yes, it's online. Mm -hmm. Hey, say less. How are you? Miss Pink 84, the red lipstick, Hustler Lily. Yes, and she is the truth. Okay, Miss Gigi. Now, me and Marcella were talking about this. I thought Trump was good for me. It honestly showed Gordon hurt. Look, Gordon's hurt because he cannot even face his own family. Y'all know that Gordon left a woman in Elizabeth City, pleasantly plump, beautiful church woman, and his children to go mess with a On it. hustler. And guess what? He liked that she was bringing other guys, other girls inside of the bed. And he liked all that. But honey, Mia is leaving because he is broke. He has no more money and he has no more Did tools. You try again? He has no more tools to use. Gordon had prostate cancer, y'all. And this woman wouldn't even act like a wife to be with her husband. She chose to continue to cheat on her husband while he was struggling through his health issues. And then to find out that that boy is not Gordon's, ooh, that is something that's on national TV. And I don't think, 
Mia realizes that makes you look like a whore. Not a queen. And I told y'all that Ashley told you how many years back I told y'all Ashley never left Michael. They just, mm -hmm. they do. And she's okay with it because she can be what? Kept. A kept woman. And yes, thank you, Queen. I look beautiful today because of your lip liner. Those marriages that bring others into their bed do not last. They don't last. And you see, Mia likes But that was his only stipulation, though. He told her not to mess with this man because they had a history, mm -hmm. not knowing she had messed with him the whole time. This is the um, um, red lipstick hustle, Queen Lily hair growth. Here it go, y'all. Here it go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Um, y'all, that's her lipstick collection. Please check it out. I told y'all I love it. I can drink coffee. My lipstick do not move, okay? Okay, Mia is proud of her behavior. Yes. You know, I used to think that Mia was what? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. I understand that Gordon swapped the devil for the witch, which under the that's water under the bridge. Now matters. Where is he now? I'm gonna tell you, he is in North Carolina. And guess who have the children? He do. Guess who wants child support? She do. And he got mm -hmm. he was coming back over to be a nanny because they couldn't afford one. And they still renting that penthouse, okay? Because that DJ don't have money like y'all think he do. Mia is disgusting how lowbrow. And now everybody's getting to see what I was telling y'all all the time. Jackie was going to spill it. Jackie was going to spill it at that reunion. Their, whoa, their money has always been tight. Tight. And now look, I don't, I'm going to tell you something. They're going to have to do a lot of digging to bring Real Housewives of Potomac. But I'm going to tell y'all something about Little Miss Candace. And I promise that I would do a show individually about Miss Candace Dilla Bassett. Now, you know she's making her music and everything. But Candace left the show because she got tired of the light-skinned women being treated better than the dark-skinned women. She's been saying it, saying it, saying it for a long time. She played her, her, her chess while they were playing checkers. And guess what? She played right along with Naka and Wendy, who are the same tribal, who didn't get along. Look, Wendy was like, I am not going to make myself look ugly. That's after she got her breast done again, her booty done again. You know, she is changing, getting more jobs, and she's getting ready to, if she will not be back, Wendy will not be back if this podcast get kicks off the ground. But Candace said, I can't take it no more. Y'all, Andy, you know that Giselle and Robin hired somebody to say they was with my husband. And you not saying nothing about it. Right. Right. She, she said, you not saying nothing about it. You're getting ratings, knowing what this woman did to me and you know it was hard for candace to say i'm sorry about your father because you all know giselle father died of you know a brain disease mm -hmm. but she said that does not you know excuse what robin and giselle did to me y'all the girl came out on tasha k and said that she never even met chris okay if Ink had money, Gordon would have never been in the picture. A gold digger don't like digging all day. That's right. He's just young and he's keeping her. But you know what? If y'all look at Wendy real close, all that plastic surgery, nip tuck, Botox and all that is starting to fall apart. If y'all was to see um, Mia without makeup, y'all would say helter skelter. She looks a mess. Now, let me get on this, y'all. Karen. But wait, wait, wait. Before you leave your house, I go to the Did uh -huh. you see how ridiculous Cherise was looking with yeah. a heel on and a boot trying to get her a check because she said they hurt her during that fight? 
and she was just standing there holding. And 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 the cameraman was being messy because he kept zooming in on her, on her wobbling with that boot and the high heel she was on. I thought it was crazy. I don't see these pictures anywhere. People must not be posting them. Um, but I post them in the community tab, y'all. I do some screenshots off the TV. Um, City in Los Angeles and Miami homes raided by Homeland Security in connection to the ex trafficking investigation. His son Justin is in handcuffs. Well, I don't think Justin's gonna go down, but I think you know Christian is about to go. And I'm gonna tell you something about Christian's mama. Christian mama came out a couple of months ago and said, "You want to play with me?" I know what bones are buried. And to help my son, I'm going to get it together. Listen, I'm hoping that he has taken care of his daughters. I hope that he is taking care of all three of his beautiful daughters. They need to get away. And I'm glad that they were not living in that house um, where all this freaky deaky stuff was going on. Do you think Gordon family is going to let him back now? No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, cause he was spending money on his own before he met me. Like they said, he would go to strip clubs and yeah. blow money and, and and gamble and do all kind of stuff. So uh, the only way he gonna get access back for that money if he wins the lawsuit and um get get his little portion. But other than that, baby, mm -mm, you you they said you already spent your money, Gordon. And I and I want to say about this him fight situation. Like I said, it was okay when Mia threw the drink on Wendy. It was okay that the Muppet threw the drink on Candace and was fighting. But they were holding my girl Monique feet to the fire for having a reaction for somebody who'd been antagonizing her for seasons. So which one is it? Y'all know I don't fool with Candace, but her just talking about somebody in the corner and enough to make nobody come up and approach them in their face and throw a drink in a glass now. Then the other poor little baby um, got her whole forehead cut up. I hope they send her to a good plastic surgeon so she won't have a scar. Um, so yeah, y'all, I, I just feel like it, it was double standards this season compared to how they handled my girl Monique. And I ain't like that. I see Sharice, her shoes look too little. And that dress she had on at that event last night, girl. Y'all want to see the dress? Now, I do got yes, it from last night. Yes. yes. She looked gross. In that dress, okay, she looks like an overstuffed turkey, and I don't even know how to cook. Okay, y'all. So let me get down here to it. Um, that's Charisse's dress right there, y'all. Which one? I'm trying to bring it up. Is that yeah? That's Charisse's dress right there. Which one? The black oh. and white. All right here. That one. That's what they said. What did what she had on? No, she had on a black sequence dress from Shin. And oh, um, wait a minute. They might not have those up yet. Um I thought they had a finale of y'all remember Giselle and that black and white polo dress. Look, Giselle got them elephant legs. I don't know why she keeps showing them. Even when she was modeling, them legs looked like trunks, okay? They looked like they was heavy, okay? Mm -hmm. but yeah, they got those up. I thought they had the, the season finale looks, but no, nah, that, that's not it. Y'all need to see Kern without makeup. Oh my goodness. And guess what, y'all? I, you think she's going to go to jail? Listen, I'm about to read because she got some new charges yesterday, okay? Where is baby love? <laughs> um, That's Justin, mom, Christian. Mom is Kim Porter. Yes, but Justin, she not playing because, you know, her son got a DUI. 
Mia doesn't want to be bothered with her own children. She doesn't. She mm -hmm. did this for the money, y'all. Let me tell you something. What's in a lucrative prenuptial agreement today in society? You must have three children. And we're not going to talk about the housewife that slipped one in to make sure that she got that money um, on her way out, okay? Um, I think the family will let him back and cap what he gets. The, um, they probably don't want Mia to get any of the hard earning asset, and I hope they do. But he lives in a nice, moderate house down in Elizabeth City, which is 30 minutes away from me. And that's all he's going to get. That's it. That's all. And they probably going to give it to him after he is legally divorced. OK, Color, colorist crabs in the barrel antics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think they only embraced it, embraced Nick this season to show that they weren't colorists. I think production made it a point for them to not to be mean to NECA so it won't look like they being colorists. Yes, but you know what? That did not work. And Andy had rode Giselle to the wheels and fell off. And now she, he has to get her. Because do you know that when that reunion with Monique and Giselle was 11 hours and Monique was getting... She was getting Giselle so bad, they wouldn't even show you. She Karen had a Lund whole nervous like, breakdown, y'all. Yeah, she had a nervous breakdown. Karen looks like a witch without makeup. Yes, she does. Mia is cray-cray. Sharice and Giselle are no fashion queens. Everything they wear is something I call round the house grandma fashions. That's what I'm and, talking and about. And Sharice wear that outfit she had on that that crowd ball on tv one more time girl girl with the old labels now i ain't saying nothing wrong with it but like mm. if i'm gonna go on tv i'm gonna make sure i got my my fashion together okay mm. but Sharice just be throwing on anything and she, and, and that, that shoe like was the same ball. height as her her, her cast so that's why she was, she was too tight on her feet and i know her feet was hurting um, they put the girls in handcuffs too. Did oh, he I ain't heard of that. But y'all, let me tell y'all about Miss Kern. Miss Kern, Miss Kern Huger. Now, I told y'all, Karen has always been a lush when it came to wine. Karen get up in that house with Ray and said, that thing, thing don't get hard no more. I got to drink, okay? I got to drink. And Karen has always, always been a drinker, okay? Karen Huger's car crash is more serious than initially thought. Yesterday, y'all, this is they what- said it was a high-speed crash. crash. They said that Karen Huger crashed her Maserati while under the influence, but nobody else was harmed. Huger's refused to take a breathalyzer test on the scene. Why? Because she is the grand drunk dom. Okay, so Huger's statement fails to address the DUI incident, causing surprise among fans. The Grand Dam of Potomac is one of the Maser is one Maserati short. Karen was under the influence when she crashed her car, destroying the vehicle while no one else was harmed. Huger, who stars on the Housewives of Potomac and prides herself on etiquette, also reportedly refused to take a breathalyzer while on the scene. The Montgomery County Department, Police Department, confirmed that the reality star was cited for driving under the influence. Huger has released a statement to TMZ, and this is what she says. I'd like to thank all for your prayers as well wishes during this very frightening experience. I am still in shock from last night's incident, but grateful to be alive today. With the passing of my beloved mother, grief comes and goes in waves. With Mother's Day approaching, it has felt more like a trusaming. Last night, I met a girlfriend for dinner, and we talked and brought up some very emotion emotionally sensitive topics. I was crying on my way home and saw a car heading right for me. I swerved to avoid the head-on collision, hit the divider, and then a tree. I'm hurt. I'm bruised up a little bit, but I'm grateful. I'm alive. I would like to stress. It's important to understand your emotional state 
when driving. And may this be a reminder to all to use your seatbelts. My mother may be my guardian angel, but my seatbelt was my lifesaver. Nowhere in Huger's statement does it bring up her DUI charge, okay, or whether she actually refused to take a breathalyzer while on scene. According to the reports, there was no other car, but instead Huger hit a medium and a crosswalk sign. There is no mention of another car. Now, let me tell you something. I went to Monique's house, okay? When you go back there, they have a little teeny medium, which are these sticks with reflectors on it. And then they have reflectors on the ground so you don't go over because they have houses on the side. The road to go into Potomac from DC where I was staying at is very curved. And like I said, they have these little sticks, metal poles, and guess what? They have reflectors on it. So I know she had to be going around there full speed and when you go into the neighborhood, Karen lived like a mile away from Monique's house. Karen was Monique's next door neighbor, but it was a mile away. The houses are separated by a mile away. And Karen rents her house, but guess what? Karen is also getting ready to move down to good old Florida. And I don't think that she wanted to leave this area. But her husband is saying, hey, we need to go. So I hope that Karen is able to stay in Potomac. But this right here is not acceptable at the clubhouse or the social circles. You know what? Monique did the same thing and got into an accident. Remember, Ashley was trying to say, well, I didn't say you were drunk. But, you know, they like very expensive wine. I went out with Monique and guess what? Her wine was $900 wine that tastes, it tastes like pepper. And I was like, I don't like this. And I was so glad that I was able to walk from the restaurant to my hotel, which was the next block my hotel was on. But those women love to drink, okay? And wine is their thing. Karen has you know, prayer like a fireball too. Karen has always been a lust. She just tries to cover it up. Remember when she kept saying, I'm not drinking because my stomach issues? No, it's probably because she has to coat her stomach because she is a drink all. And when Ray goes to bed at seven o'clock, she either tiptoes out or she is drinking alone in that big home. Okay. Um, she knows she loses control. And listen, y'all, y'all need to go back on some of Karen's um, lives when she was drinking and she was getting loose and the wig was twisted and everything. OK. And and that's why she said the night of that fight, she said, I'm not driving. I wasn't drinking. Yes. Karen had already got her full on. Hey, Norris, Tony. Hey, Norris. So y'all, Real Housewives, F, look, they getting ready to respot the whole thing. They're getting ready to do the whole thing for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Portia better be able to save this show. Her and Simon are getting down in these YouTube streets. Simon is talking about her dragging her. And Fallon is over there laughing her tail off because she said, you took my problem. Now, I got a sneak peek of this trailer, but I cannot show it um, up here, okay? I cannot. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. We've been asking, where is Megan? Not Megan. Where is Kate? Y'all is come out that that might have been a lie about Kate. Y'all. Well, they said she would diagnose with cancer. Well, somebody said uh, 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 one of their little England guys who don't like Meghan Marco said that's a lie. What well, in the world is going on? Tisha Tales is telling it all, y'all. Telling it all. Y'all got to go over there to Tisha. She's telling it all. 
And y'all, Kim Kardashian is no longer with Odell Beckham. No more. No I more. I, mean, baby by him. Huh? I thought she wanted a baby by him. Well, he didn't want one by her. Okay. But what is going on with her? They lying. They would lie to the extent of saying this girl got cancer. Well, that's what Pierce is saying. That is a lie. Oh, um, Lily, I love um Sheen also. I wore Sheen dress to my daughter's wedding. It was thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, honey, hold on, cause I'm right next to my closet. Okay, y'all, hold on. Y'all, what is going on with the royal family? Child. I just don't get it. What is going on? Yeah, Karen told her tiny violin, but she knew better than getting that car knowing she had drunk something. Call an Uber, child. Leave your car where it was. Um, okay, y'all, look. <laughs> look at this. Miss Gigi was saying her shin came in. Well, so did mine. <laughs> and you know why, y'all? Let me tell y'all what I had to do. And y'all better not tell nobody. Um, for my shin, look. Look at this, y'all. Look. Look at this, honey. And wait a minute. Make yeah. sure you wash all that before you wear it. I listen, it's in the hiding stage right now. It's, oh. Is in the hiding stage. Now, what I do is buy a whole bunch of clothes, right? And then I hide it. I hide it from my husband, right? Because we have agreed not to go shopping for three months. And um, I got this bag. It was on the porch. I got that bag, cut it open, and then I hid all the bags. Right, and he don't know I got him right now. I'm gonna show y'all my closet because I told my husband, You need to go in there and throw some of your stuff away, get rid of it for donations. Look, y'all, I got to show y'all this. Lord, don't don't say nothing smart about my closet. Look, my husband done threw all his clothes down here, right? And I'm in here hiding stuff, okay? Look at my closet, y'all. <laughs> And I made him throw all his stuff away. I even got some stuff in this bag right here that I ain't even sure. Not Kato's. I ain't been to Kato's in forever. And look, y'all. <laughs> I ordered me some shoes. Wait a minute, y'all. You don't even know I got these shoes, y'all. Y'all see these right here? Y'all see these? You just be older and stuff. Look, y'all see all this stuff up under here? Well, I got new clothes and stuff hid all up under there. Look, chin, look, bras, y'all. Look at these shoes I bought. Tell me if these ain't the cutest things ever. Y'all see this? Look at that. Y'all see? Y'all, I've been hiding stuff, y'all. And y'all, I have been hiding stuff, so it's in the, hit, the hidden stage. And then I tell my husband, oh, my God, look at this dress I've been looking for. And he's like, girl, you, you, not, you always had that in there. You just bought that. He always busts me, though. Dang. Um, Let me see what she said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm for you. Uh-huh. Look, if anorexic Kate is lying about cancer, the one hell of a lie to make up. And okay. We we have real people out here suffering. Shin is the shit. Yes, yes, it is. Listen. That's all I say. You wash that stuff um, before you put it on, y'all. Even to try it on. Yeah, listen, y'all. I just ordered some things from Louis Vuitton, honey. Now, you said that you weren't going to be shopping now. No, you know, no, you be ordering too much. I, I didn't order. I'm ordering me one pair of sandals from them, but I ordered some nice shirts and uh, nice little sundress and stuff from them. And I had to get that sent, sent to my neighbor's house because <laughs> so he don't want to see that because if he see LV and he decides, look y'all, 
I got this. You're going to be on Amazon and you better not say nothing. I got this private credit card that you don't even know about. Woo. And I went ham the hell off on Louis Vuitton. So I got that going to a neighbor's house. And as soon as they get there, she is supposed to call me. Oh, my God, Miss Gigi. That's me, Marcella. Got the man thrown on. Listen, y'all, If let me show y'all Tim's stuff. And y'all, I bought me some new hats. Oh, let me show y'all these hats, honey. Marcella. Oh, my God. And we said we'll keep in our closets clean too. And I got a basket in there with clothes in it. Now but my closet is still a little better than yours. <laughs> let, let me tell y'all what I did. I got these hats, right? And I didn't want to bring them home in the hat boxes. So I took it and put it in some bags. And I tied them up in the bag, y'all. But y'all, look at this beast right here. All right, church Whoa. lady. Oh, wait. Come on, mother of the church. Yes, honey. Yes. When I said thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, her father. Uh-huh, with my hat on. Look, that's one. That's one. I had to hide it, child. When I came in, Tim was like, what you got in that bag? I said, oh, I had some it's stuff awesome. in my car. No, I didn't have it in my car, honey. <laughs> now, look at this one. Tell me. Tell me what you want. Uh, uh, yeah. Girl, if you don't look like you about to go down Whoa. to the new court and Yo. suck a dick. Whoa. When I go in this, dun, dun, ain't nobody. Do me like Do Jesus. Like nobody. nobody. Do me like Do me Jesus. Like <laughs> And I got one more hat, y'all. One more. Look, I had to hide it, y'all. Listen. Tell me if you like this one. Okay. Now you looking the like you got to go over to England. The Saints of the House. Ha <laughs> ha. Is this is my meet Meghan Markle hat? Yes, ma'am. I like that. I wear my hair down and be like. Fanning in the church. <laughs> and then when somebody do something stupid, I can bend my head down and laugh. <laughs> Look at her with that slip on. Oh, oh. That she got on is the truth. I love that. And look, I had to hide it all, honey. I had to hide it. Because you know, huh, that wasn't cheap, girl. This one hat right here, this is a gold medallion hat. This hat cost me $250. And it was on sale, y'all. It was on sale. And I was like, what? You saying my words? Sale. And mm -hmm. then when I bought the hat, y'all, I was, I was shaking. I they thought I was a damn pink I was shaking. And then Tim said, what you got? I said, oh, this was something in the back of my car. They cleaned my car today. And I was lying. And as soon as I was walking up them stairs, I said, Lord, forgive me for lying. But Lord, don't get me get busted this time. And I just love when I go to church and I have my hat on and honey. Huh. And when they yeah. came on Sunday, she said, whoa, your hat is the offering. And I was like, I'm not offering anything, but this, <laughs> is, this envelope. No, no, I don't loan hats out. No, I don't. But, you know, I have to hide these things. And I learned that from who? Miss Gigi. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody. Yes. I love a good hat in the summertime. So I bought this other outfit from, from Kato's, right? And then my husband said, I thought we weren't going to buy nothing for three months. I said, I just got this one outfit. Don't worry. It's just one. It's just one outfit. Oh, you know, Kato's was still open. I used to have a Kato call. Oh, yes, honey. 
I be shopping and I can't help it. I go out and said, I'm going to lunch, everyone. And the girl was like, we can do lunch together. No, girl, I'm doing shopping. I'm not doing lunch. And But let me show y'all this outfit. with Barcella, you better not come no freaking financial Friday telling people not to be spending their money. Okay, so y'all, this is the blouse. This is the blouse, y'all, right? And then, then look, and they happen to go with this hat, you know? Uh-huh, that's what I'll get when ready to say. When we go to the church cookout, and here's the pants, right? Look at the pockets on this pants, right? You see okay. the pockets right here. Oh, and let me show y'all something else. Now, you know you can't buy a good fit without good shoes. Hold on. I am too through with you. Now, y'all see, y'all see the gold and the shoe, right? Y'all look. Whoa. Look at the gold on the shoe, honey. And I'm what? hiding these, honey. I'm hiding everything. You don't tell me what I mean. What? Oh, oh, oh. Let me, let me, look, 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 look. Let me, listen. Y'all trying to get me busted. And you know you have to have a good, good sweater with your light, you know, your light things with a sweater. You know I got that good, good sweater. And honey, throw on this hat. What? What? I better put this up before Tim come. Keep talking, y'all. <laughs> hey, hey, University God. with Marie. Um, that hat does say money. Um, Lily really does. Hey, Marie. She better not come up here on no freak, freaky financial Friday tell people to uh, not spend no money. Because she, she's spending all the money. Okay, let me see what there's something else going on. Oh, y'all, they, um, uh, uh, ISIS. Um, I gotta hide uh, my stuff. I gotta hide it back in the spot. <laughs> ISIS done, um, um, did a terrorist attack in Russia. It was a crowded theater that was in there watching something, and um, explosions went off, and it's over a hundred people dead. Um, it's a lot that's that's in the news today. At Trump's con um, conference today, he's going to have nerd to talk about timing of the hood money trial is election interference. Not the whole creator of January the seat, y'all. Let me see. Is there something else going on? I want to tell y'all. Um, something else went on today, but I can't remember. Let me see. Oh, Van Van, um, little hip hop star, and um, e um, heirs, um, Ti and Tiny's daughter. They got a little song together. It's really cute. It's a real cute bop for the kids. Something real appropriate called "Be You" by Van Van and Heirs King. I mean, Heirs. Uh, what's her name? What's that last name? Ti um and Tiny daughter Harris. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of their last name. Tim is down in the man cave, girl, and I had to go put that stuff back down deep so he cannot find it, honey. Hey, I didn't get the notification. Hey, Universal T with Marie, I love you, girl. Miss you. Um, yes, y'all. Oh, they finally funeralized. Um, my man Eric Mays, uh, they finally had his funeral. I think it was on the 23rd that they laid him to rest finally because you know the family was fighting over his body. Um, so they finally had his funeral, y'all. Um, 
You got anything else, Marcella? Oh, let me let me take a look because I, you know, I be hiding things in my um Instagram. But y'all, we ain't gonna keep y'all long tonight. Um, let me see, let me see. I got a um a video I want y'all to see that <laughs> that uh one of my bloggers put up on my page, y'all. Mm, let me show y'all yeah. this little video. Mm -hmm. Okay, if this ain't accurate, I don't know what it is. Y'all check this out. <laughs> I said they've been working there too long, baby. I want y'all to see this. Look at the boxer. Look at the wawa, y'all. Is that a good baby? Look at the husky, too. Yes, honey. And let me tell y'all this little funny tidbit. Look at this. Now, man posed as a pastor in small black churches, and he had at least 10 wives, including one in Virginia. Now, oh, this dude, he, my God. Wasn't a, he wasn't a preacher at all. But look, look at him with his gold teeth. Don't he look shady and shysty? With a girl a man, <laughs> a man accused of being a serial bigamy posed as a pastor at small black churches around the country and was sentenced to three years in prison after he was found to have at least 10 wives. Okay? Three years? That's all he did. Whom he married for financial gain. He married them for the money, okay? His name is Orlando. Coleman's first marriage was to a woman in Virginia in 2001. The 50-year-old man traveled around the world pretending to be a pastor or a bishop, he married nine other women in Delaware, Iowa, Kentucky, Nebraska, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Texas, and two other states, y'all. In an interview, um, he said that Coma's um, wife said that they got married within months of after meeting him, and she thought he was a real man of God. The woman took care of Comey and they were left stuck paying for housing, food, and the bills. When Coleman left the women, some of them filed for divorce while the others did not. That meant he was still a serial bigamist. The fake pastor scheme began in 2021 when he married two women five months apart. After leaving the woman he married in Virginia, he married a woman in Houston. According to the court docs, Coleman's wife in Houston discovered he was receiving money from a woman in Virginia and contacted her. When she discovered they were both married to the same man, she contacted the Harris County Sheriff's Office and they investigated and found bigamy charges against Coleman. In 2023, Coleman pleaded guilty to bigamy, which is a felony in Texas. He was sentenced to three years probation mm -hmm. and the chance to have his record cleared. Two months after that, he married a woman in Kentucky while still married to the woman in Virginia. Subsequently, prosecutors filed a motion to revoke Coleman's probation and a judge to uh, agree to impose a three-year sentence this month. 
Oh, this my God. Uh, so this he, he, he was like, uh, Pastor Pickle Penis, um, Pastor Holy Whore. <laughs> yes, he was the real Pastor Holy Whore, okay? Now, <clears throat> tonight, y'all, Anthony Loftis is coming back. And he has a little treat for y'all. He wants to play the rest of the recordings he got. You know, if y'all like Anthony as he's your cup of tea, go over there and take a sip. Don't forget to watch Dion Says Whatever. Don't forget to watch Universal Tea with Marie. Y'all open y'all palettes to different content creators. We gonna have fun, but there is no fun when the rabbit Got the gun. And, and let me tell y'all one more tidbit that I forgot to tell y'all when we were in the news um, part of the show. You know that girl, Ronald Mc, Ronna McDaniel, the one that Trump removed as the chair of the RNC, y'all. Mm -hmm. How about um, NBC hired her and she was on MSNBC People on MS that watch MSNBC threatening to boycott if she is not fired. So therefore, NBC is considering cutting ties with her because mm. they don't want to lose the viewership. Um, now she's up here all anti-Trump whenever you won't send that before sugar. Right. So now you anti-Trump because you lost your job. So yeah, they're thinking about cutting ties with her because of all the baggage that she has. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yeah, it, 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 it is behind the paywall. The very first one will not be behind the paywall. The first one will not be behind the paywall. But y'all, I have enjoyed y'all tonight. I am getting ready to sip, sip some more coffee. And drink me a bottle of 10% um, alkaline water. And I'm going to be it because I have a very early day tomorrow. I thank y'all for coming to you. What is the Jimmy Cat coming? I don't care. Yes, y'all. I'm going to come back with some more tea tomorrow. Y'all, but y'all better keep your eye on the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion because it's going to get heated. It's going to get heated, okay? And it's going, I don't think, it's one coming? Mm, I doubt it. Now, yeah. let's say, offer him a check. It's the yeah. only way he's going to show up. Yes. Hey, Gail, it's behind the paywall note. Let me say, hey, I will catch the replay. I know you all going to be cutting up on this live. Listen, I have learned from last night, stay your tail in the bushes. Okay. I'm going to be staying in the bushes, the bush bush. That's the only bush I'm going to get next to. But y'all <laughs> trying to get me busted. I, I see y'all. I see y'all. I don't understand, though, why people go over there to her channel to call her slow, dumb, itches, and all this kind of stuff like that. But then, if you show up over there in one of them other uh, comment sections, they be ready to read you for filth and reading everybody else on the show for filth. I just think it's so crazy that people feel so comfortable coming on somebody else's page and doing stuff like that. It ain't nothing but like high school bullying. Well, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all heard it here first. It's some people about to go down on these YouTube streets. Y'all keep your eyes open. I have a feeling it might happen before the next Love and Marriage Huntsville. It's some big things brewing. And guess where I'm at? Over here on my page, watching. Watching. And I'm Girl, gonna be I got my eyes in the bushes now with, with my blind crack. You know, and you crack that blind up so you can see. Them. Listen, they show sure do. They get mad, but you know, Miss Wanda, y'all be thinking that Miss when Miss Wanda get to drinking, she can dance where she can't dance if she ain't drinking. She can talk and she likes to have fun. 
And Miss Wanda is going to have fun with them because she can. So, y'all, y'all, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. And we're going to have to do a members only soon because y'all, I got something to tell y'all. Y'all, listen, when your children are dating people and you try to tell them, uh uh, wrong road, and they go and mess with somebody anyway. After you done told them, I hate to tell my children I told you so. I got to tell y'all something in members only. So I love y'all. We're going to do a members only. I'm going to catch up with the tea tomorrow. I got a long day. I got physical therapy tomorrow. And when I finish that, I'm usually drained to the bone. But I will be up here to see you, even if I come up here and say, hey, y'all. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to take my braids down. Next week is spring break for my kids. And I plan on taking y'all on some adventures for my kids. Spring break, my grandkids. I'm taking everybody out on a couple of excursions around, you know, Virginia Beach and stuff. So I'm going to take y'all with me as always. I love y'all and good. Nisa, your hands on the button. Yes. Good night, night. y'all.